no place continues to provide such mystery as the frozen, intimidating Antarctic. Sitting down at the South Pole, far out of reach from the general population, Antarctica plays host to some of the most bizarre feats of Mother Nature that we've ever seen. Things change color, animals become abnormally gigantic, and bubbling hot lava appears in places where it definitely shouldn't. So what exactly is hiding down there in the bitter cold? Time to find out. Earlier in 2019, scientists discovered something rather rare, bringing a whole new meaning to out of this world. It's a croissant-shaped speck of stardust. Without advanced microscopes, you won't be able to see it, though. Why? Because it's tiny. Like one twenty-five thousandth of an inch kind of tiny. This relic of an ancient star is perceived to have come from a nova explosion and was found hidden within a meteorite that hit Antarctica. Supposedly, this blue and red speck, named LAP-149, is older than our very own sun. It has extremely high levels of a very specific form of carbon called carbon-13. Nothing on this Earth has shown such high levels. Next up is one where Mother Nature has really outdone herself. Scientists have come across a stunningly unique lake of sizzling hot lava. It sits in the middle of the mostly unexplored Mount Michael volcano. The snow-covered lake is only the eighth of its kind ever seen, a find made all the more astounding by the fact that it exists in sub-zero temperatures. The rare lava lake boasts scalding temperatures of between 1,812 and 2,334 degrees Fahrenheit. It's not just recent, either. The lava has been bubbling away since at least 2003. But why? How come on the other 1,500 or so volcanoes on Earth, lava from deep within the Earth dries into rock? Apparently, it's because the heat from eruptions of volcanic gases, including sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide, can keep some lava lakes at a high enough temperature to keep the lava from solidifying. This, folks, is Lake Vostok, the third largest lake by volume in the world, and the continent's biggest subglacial lake. It was discovered by Russian scientists back in 2012 that it's more than two miles deep. You know, we've mentioned Lake Vostok in another video about the creepy mysteries of Antarctica. The link's in the description. Check it out. This time, though, we're diving further into the lake, just like the Russian research team did that found samples from the water containing, are you ready for this, alien life, or at the least, types of bacteria that were completely unlike anything that scientists had cataloged before. How can a flowing lake exist with ice surrounding it in all directions? Well, the reason is because of the pressure applied by said surrounding ice. With thousands of gigatons of ice on top of it, Vostok becomes immune to freezing. That's weird, eh? According to AntarcticGlaciers.com, a whopping 379 lakes exist in Antarctica, beneath the surface. Scientists have also come across some rather out-of-the-ordinary icebergs. These green hunks of ice sit near the Amory Ice Shelf on East Antarctica. We've been studying them for decades. Now, however, there's a new theory at the forefront, all about one mineral, iron. You see, the ice that sits in rock at the bottom of the Amory Ice Shelf has 500 times more iron than the ice that sits above it at the surface. So when parts of that iron-heavy ice break away and float into the ocean, the iron oxidizes as it makes contact with seawater. It's either that or a Costco-sized tub of green food dye. Let's turn our attention to the Ross Ice Shelf. This seemingly endless block of ice covers a massive 185,000 square miles and pretty close to the size of the entire country of Spain. It's not just wide either, it's mighty thick, over a thousand feet thick in some areas. That size makes it all the more amazing that scientists were able to uncover a ginormous ancient rocky structure hidden deep beneath the surface. This supposed big old rock is what's saving us from being eternally engulfed by the ocean. The ancient rock acts as a barrier between the Ross ice shelf and the seawater, which stops the ice from melting, or at least slows it. So far, it's thought that the Ross ice shelf has halted the drifting of about 20% of Antarctica's ice into the ocean. What that means is that it stopped the sea level rising by around 11.6 meters, or 38 feet. To put that in perspective, Shanghai, San Francisco, and Amsterdam, among others, would flood with a rise of that extent. If all of the Antarctic ice melted, that's another nightmare entirely. Sea levels around the world would rise about 61 meters. Not a pretty thought, right? We know what the ancient rock structure does, but scientists have been baffled by this next icy installation. Take a look. Strange, isn't it? This bizarre collection, viewable on Google Earth, is about 200 miles away from the Norwegian Research Station and consists of a two-kilometer-long series of 22 head-scratching structures. 
The fascinating thing is that they were completely hidden until 2001, when the ice in the area started to melt. Conspiracy theorists have had a field day, but we'll wait until science has some real answers. These are the Blood Falls at Taylor Glacier, initially discovered in 1911. At first, we thought the hellish color was the result of algae in the water. But as science progressed over the ages, we've adopted a new theory, oxidation. When the iron from beneath comes in contact with the flowing salt water at the surface, as well as with oxygen, voila, it turns blood red. Just like rust, scientists are still scratching their heads at our next conundrum, the giant gaping holes in the ice. These massive crevices have been popping up ever since the 1970s, or at least that's as far back as we know. But in 2016 and 2017, a pair of enormous new ones appeared over in the Waddell Sea, which is right here. One of them measured 115,097 square miles. That's almost exactly the same size as the state of Arizona. Known in the science world as Polynias, these giant holes are thought to be the result of storms and salt, although there's still more research to be done. With the help of floating robots and, believe it or not, tech-equipped seals, research teams noticed that quick climate variations from particularly nasty weather disrupted the ice. That's all related to how ocean layers work. Typically, the different saline levels sit vertically, as colder, saltier water sinks to the bottom of the ocean because of a higher density. So when winds are violent enough to disrupt currents and the normal layers, it can make the ocean's surface unnaturally salty, melting the ice at the top. If these giant holes keep popping up and the ice keeps melting, watch out because sea levels will rise day after tomorrow style. You didn't think we'd get through an Antarctica video without mentioning penguins, did you? Not penguins as we know them, though. No, sir. This is what scientists are calling a super colony, comprising of 1.5 million Adelaide penguins. These elusive seabirds have managed to defy humans for close to 3,000 years, miraculously staying completely hidden. They're not just chilling in hammocks and kicking back, though. They're facing danger every day, surrounded by fields of treacherous sea ice appropriately named the Danger Islands. Much further below the surface, however, there's an entirely new species that we've just found. Thought to be an obscure type of sea cucumber, this puzzling, bizarre, and downright weird-looking specimen was scooped up in mid-2019 at a staggering 3,500 meters, 11,500 feet below sea level. We don't know what this creature is, but we do know that it can handle water pressure that is 300 times more powerful than what we deal with here on land. If you thought that was the only strange creature swimming around in the Antarctic, then think again. The region is home to countless questionable, sometimes frightening animals. Take the sea pig, for example. This aesthetically challenging specimen is found in the deepest, darkest, muddy depths of the Ross Sea crawling around as far as 3.7 miles below the surface. It's fair to say that the sea pig won't be winning any Best Dressed awards anytime soon. Perhaps an animal named after former Baywatch star David Hasselhoff would, though. This is the Hoff Crab, which was recently discovered on a hydrothermal vent system in Antarctica, which is like a volcano only underwater. Considering that this particular species of crab was exclusively found near steamy vents 1.5 miles or 2.5 kilometers deep, it has been described as potentially the densest population of animals ever found. Next up is the so-called springtail. These little dudes have a superpower, the ultimate antifreeze. Amazingly, they can survive being frozen solid and defrosted again and again, and then just go about their business as usual. Oh, and even though they're only one or two millimeters long, springtails are actually the largest land animal in Antarctica. We say land animal because technically the seagoing types like seals and penguins are not considered land animals. Then we've got the glass sponge. Another strange creature mostly endemic to the Antarctic. These little silica life forms have been touted as being sort of like a living underwater skyscraper for everything else to grow on. They're able to provide housing for hundreds of other species. Don't pick them up though. These sneaky devils have tiny, needle-like parts that can get stuck in your skin. Ouch! So there's clearly a bunch of strange things swimming around in our oceans. The biggest of them all, of course, are whales. Have you ever wondered what would happen if one of them were to swallow you whole? Well, check out our video about it. Or how about how scientists proved that the megalodon is actually extinct? Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.